Who even thinks of a breed or species when all you see before you is a mouth-watering seasoned barbecue chicken oozing with tantalizing aromas, and all you want to do is grab a bite? No offense to all those vegans out there watching. Some chicken breeds are super unique, and this video is all about them. Join us as we have a look at 15 chicken breeds you won't believe exist. Number 15. The Anagadori Just as we have people that were born into the upper class of society, so is the Anagadori in the chicken kingdom. It's of noble descent, known as honorable fowl in Japanese. The Anagadori is a rare chicken breed popular for its exceptionally long and majestic tail reaching over 10 meters. This measures longer than the tail of a peacock. The Onigadori chicken species dates back to the 17th century in Japan's Tosa province. Basically, the breed is used for exhibitions, although its exact heritage remains unknown. Experts believe that it's a hybrid that's derived from crossing a chicken with other long-tailed birds, such as the Totenko, along with the Minohinki and more. Now, although this yellow-skinned bird looks like every other typical chicken, it's a rare breed that's only peculiar to the Japanese. This rooster is believed to derive its tail from a mutation of its non-molting genes which allows it to keep its tail feathers throughout its lifetime. The implications of which is that this bird cannot continually replace its damaged feathers with new ones. The inability of the Onigadori to adjust to the European climate and habitat has forced breeders to cross them with local breeds. It was through this process of crossbreeding that the German Phoenix came to be, and while it looks very similar to the Onigadori, it molts more frequently than the Japanese breed. Only a few breeds of this chicken exist, as the bird only lays around 25 eggs per year. This is why its eggs are not permitted to be exported outside of Japan. Number 14. Polish Chickens What comes to your mind when you hear Polish Chickens? You probably thought they were special breeds from Poland, but that's not true. Polish chickens are ancient Dutch chicken breeds known for their remarkable crest of feathers that nearly covers their entire head. And when you see one, it leaves a lasting impression on you. This chicken breed comes in a variety of colors that makes it suitable to be kept as an ornamental or even show bird, which is the primary reason that most people get them. Unlike the Onigadori, Polish chickens lay many fine white eggs, as they can lay up to three to four eggs per week. Polish chickens rarely go broody and are available in bearded, non-bearded, and frizzle varieties. And in case you didn't know, to go broody means that the chicken sits on a nest of eggs to incubate them. The Polish chicken is a medium-sized bird that has a body that's fairly long, with a back that's straight and shoulders that are broad. Its moderately long wings are also closely held to its body, and it has red combs and white earlobes. While the Polish roosters generally weigh around 6 pounds, Polish hens can weigh anywhere between 4 and 5, and although the American Poultry Association recognizes only 10 color varieties of Polish chickens, which include silver polish, gold-laced polish, buff-laced polish, and blue polish, several other varieties are being worked on. Overall, the Polish chicken is an active breed that does well when allowed to be free-range. Number 13. La Fleche this chicken's believed to have derived its name from the arrow-like shape of its comb. Yes, la fleche is a French word that means the arrow. However, apart from its literal meaning, this chicken's name also has a geographic origin. La fleche is also a small town in France. It's a medium-sized bird with a full curvy tail, and they're almost identical to the Spanish chickens, since both species are usually known for their black feathers. The only difference is that la fleche has an arrow-like comb while the Spanish chicken has a V-shaped comb. The male La Fleche weighs about 8 pounds, while its female weighs around 6.5. The hens will lay anywhere between 140 to 220 white eggs, usually between the months of March and October. And although this chicken does grow fairly slow, the breed is famous for producing castrated cockerels and fattened pullets. Now, the chicken breed is a rare French breed, which is not actually suitable to be kept as a pet. This is because they're easily spooked and often avoid humans, but nonetheless, they're an excellent breed for consumption since they have fine quality meaty breasts. Note that this breed doesn't do well with confinement, and even if you do want to confine them, you'll be sure that there's a large space for them to be free range. The La Fleches like to lurk in corners, 
as if they're plotting some evil against their owners, but don't be scared because they're not, it's just within their nature to lurk around. Also, although they're not always aggressive to other birds, they do well with similar breeds. Number 12. Silky Bantams Silky Bantams are a rare chicken breed known for its unusual qualities such as fluffy plumage, black skin and bones, blue earlobes, and five toes instead of the usual four. They're considered to be one of the most popular and beloved ornamental chicken breeds, and they're entertaining to watch. They're so cute that they'll leave you saying, wow! It's no wonder they're often exhibited at poultry shows. This chicken breed is gentle, quieter, and doesn't fly much, so you can have them confined. Silky Bantam hens are known to be highly broody and care for young ones really well, and although they lay about three eggs a week and 100 in an ideal year themselves, it is common to see them being used for hatching eggs from other bird species and breeds as well. Silky Bantams have their first appearance documented in ancient China, and they made their way to the west through the Silk Road and maritime trade. Many myths were created about this chicken breed as soon as it became dominant in the West, and while early Dutch breeders presented them as offspring of chickens that were crossed with rabbits, some sideshows promoted them as having real mammalian fur. Nevertheless, silkies are one of the most popular ornamental breeds of chickens in the 21st century, and several Asian cuisines consider the breed meat a gourmet food. It's highly valued in China, Japan, Cambodia, Vietnam, and Korea. Number 11. The Rumpless Aracana This chicken breed is so unique because of its tufts of feathers that make up its facial feathering and the blue or green colored eggs that it lays. Also, the idea behind its name, Rumpless, is the fact that it features no tail. The Rumpless originated from South America, although some records do indicate that it's from Chile. While the British poultry standard requires these rumpless chickens to have beards, they'll be disqualified as rumpless for having beards in North America. The gene of the chicken breed is so lethal that around 25% of its chicks die right in the shell even before they're able to hatch. The implication of this is that they may take a lot of work to get them to populate quickly. Rumpless aracanas are very timid but do make excellent mothers. They are sometimes described as quirky and funny chickens that are fun to watch. They're also happy, free-ranging chicken breeds, and while they do weigh around 4 pounds and lay 3 to 4 medium-sized blue eggs weekly, the cocks will weigh about 5 pounds and be aggressive during their mating season. Some varieties of this chicken breed include lavender, black, red, golden duckwing, cuckoo, and blue silver duckwing. Number 10. Scots Dumpy the Scots Dumpy is a traditional Scottish chicken breed that has been bred for over two centuries. Its legs are extremely short as its body is only a few centimeters away from the ground. In the early 20th century, this breed of chicken was known by many different names, some which include Bakies, Creepies, Dadleys, Hoodies, or Stumpies. Scots Dumpy chicken breeds were first exhibited in London in 1852. They have four main color varieties, like black, cuckoo, dark, and silver gray, and another variety that was recently developed is the Bantam Scots Dumpy. The Rare Breed Survival Trust Organization classified the Dumpy as endangered, and this chicken's unique look, coupled with its funny duck-like manner of walking, is responsible for its classification as a rare chicken breed. This chicken's short legs make it easily bred in the garden, as it won't be able to scratch deep into the soil. Its standard rooster weighs about 7 pounds, while the hens weigh about 6. The Scots Dumpy Chicken has long tails, large and bright eyes, and a curved beak, and also their face is smooth, having a medium-sized single comb that stands upright and saw-toothed. They're a good utility bird that's suitable for meat and egg production, however, breeders are advised to be careful while feeding them because they can get fat very easily. Number 9. Modern Game Bantams If there's any chicken breed whose meat is not exceptional and doesn't produce eggs well, then it may be the modern game bantam. This chicken breed originates from the United Kingdom and is better suited for ornamental purposes. The modern game bantam breed is a very tall and slender chicken, their legs are exceptionally long, and their wattles, comb, and earlobes are usually small. Their colors are broadly divided into two groups, the first group having black legs with dark eyes, while the second variety has yellow-colored legs with red eyes. Now, depending on the modern game bantam's variety, 
Their comb, wattles, and skin color range from red to mulberry. This chicken breed is friendly and can be considered to be a good pet as a bird. Although modern game bantams have tight feathers and small combs, they are not protected against the cold, so you should keep it warm during the cold weather. The modern game bantam rooster weighs about 570 to 620 grams, while the hens can weigh between 450 to 510. They lay very few eggs, only an average of about one per week, and these eggs are usually whitish or lightly tinted. Number 8. Saramas The Saramas, or Sarama bantam, originates from Malaysia. Most of the Saramas birds that we see today were crossbred from the Ayam Kapans and the Japanese bantams in the 70s and 80s. In fact, there are claims that its ancestry even dates back to the 1600s, though this is yet to be proven through any documented evidence. When you talk of a true bantam, it is the Sarama. They are the smallest breed of chicken in the world with different color combinations. The standard Saramas will have short backs with a chest that's leaning forward. Its tail, which should be carried centrally at 90 degrees, almost touches its head, while its wings almost touch the ground. Just like every true bantam, the Sarama cannot cope with muddy or wet conditions. Obviously, this is because of their small size. Thus, they are better kept in sheds and outbuildings so that they can survive even in bad weather. After the arrival of the Sarama bantam breed in the UK in 2004 and following its incredible increase in popularity, the Poultry Club of Great Britain standardized it in November of 2008. This breed inherited a lethal gene combination from the Japanese bantam, causing 25% of its chicks to be unable to hatch. By implication, it's important to set larger numbers of eggs when incubating the Sarama chicken breed. Number 7. Cream Leg Bar Cream Leg Bar chickens are unique breeds for three major reasons. First, they're an auto-sexing breed that you can easily spot which is male or female upon hatching. The females have distinctly dark and light stripes down their bodies, whereas the males are lighter all over with a unique yellow spot on their heads. This way, breeders can easily choose which sex that they want to rear right from its hatching. Secondly, they lay beautiful light blue or light green eggs. And third, they're so adorable as their little feather crests grow upward from behind their combs. Cream leg bars are just one variety of other leg bar breeds, which includes the gold, the white, frost, and the silver. The gold leg bar was created first by crossing the cream leg bar with brown leg horns and barred Plymouth rocks. When it comes to the silver leg bar, it was created by crossing the gold leg bar with the white leg horns and silver cam bars over several generations. And finally, scientists cross gold leg bars with white leg horns and the British cream Araconis. Cream leg bars have beautiful colors and they are a perfect combination of black and shades of gray and tan. The barring pattern of this rooster is very noticeable. The crests are considerably larger than those of the roosters. The combs of the cream leg bars range from medium to large and are usually upright in the roosters. The combs of the hen usually flop to one side. This chicken breed has medium to large sized wattles with white earlobes and their legs and beaks are yellowish with their eyes being reddish bay. Their ideal weight can be 7 pounds for roosters and 5.5 pounds for hens, 30 ounces for bantam roosters, and 22 ounces for bantam hens. Number 6. The Buttercup Buttercup chickens derive their name from their comb, which takes a cup shape with a complete circle of medium-sized regular points. They're a rare Mediterranean breed that was imported from the island of Sicily over a century ago. It's believed that a sea captain had brought the breed on a voyage for the purposes of meat consumption. However, the hens began to lay large and white eggs that soon hatched into chicks and became crew pets. There's a difference between the male and the female buttercups. The male have an orange-red color with some black spangles on their bodies, and their cape feathers are located at the base of the hackle. Their tails are lustrous greenish-black. The females are buff-colored and have black elongated spangles that are positioned in parallel rows across their bodies. There are also decent white egg layers. However, both of the sexes have yellowish skin and white earlobes with willow green shanks and toes. Male buttercups can weigh six and a half pounds, while the females weigh only around five. Buttercup chickens are non-broody and can produce about 140 to 100 eggs on an annual basis. They naturally dislike the cold weather, which makes them a good breed for warmer climates. 
They also prefer to be out of confinement as they're free rangers that love to spend their time exploring all over the show. Buttercups may or may not do well with chicks. While some are friendly and sweet, others, like the Sicilian buttercup, tends to be wild and reactive to humans. Above all, this rare breed of chicken is great for exhibitions and shows. Number 5. Naked Neck Chickens As the name would imply, naked neck chickens are a bare-skinned breed. They simply have no feathers on their neck. Naked neck chickens were created through a genetic alteration process. The idea behind that creation was to prevent genetically altered broiler hens from getting overheated due to their fast heart rate. The heart rate of commercial broiler hens can go as fast as 300 beats per minute, causing them to overheat, especially in more warmer climates. Therefore, as a way of helping the chickens to feel more comfortable and minimizing their death, a breed was produced that doesn't grow feathers and even has no scales on their legs and feet. With this, breeders would be saved from having to pluck the bird's feathers on a repeated basis. They did this crossbreeding as a naturally bare-necked chicken with a regular broiler chicken. He went through six generations of breeding before they could create a large-sized version of the featherless bantam. The male version of the breed turns red when it's sexually mature, and according to breeders, featherless chickens are more low in calories, they grow faster than the standard breeds, and are environmentally friendly. They're also more likely to survive in more warm conditions. However, critics of genetic mutations of birds do have a different perception of these featherless chickens. They argue that past experience with such a chicken breed reveals that they suffer more than normal birds, and their males have shown to be unable to mate because of their inability to flap their wings. They also believe that naked chickens are more susceptible to parasites and mosquito attacks, irrespective of their gender. Number 4. Svart Hona The Svart Hona is a medium-sized, rare chicken breed that's popular for its stunning looks. This breed is one of the only two chicken breeds that are completely fibromelanistic. The other breed is the Iam Kemeny. Being fibromelanistic means that the bird is completely black, both on the inside and the outside, which also means that their wattles, their combs, legs, feathers, skin, bones, and meat are all black as well. The all-black color of the breed is a result of a genetic mutation that causes the rapid reproduction of black pigment cells. These chickens are very cold, hardy, and excellent foragers. The hens make good broody mothers and are decent layers of medium-sized creamy white eggs, which is about 250 eggs per year. Though the cocks are protective, they are quite friendly. The roosters weigh about 7 pounds, while the hens can weigh anywhere around 5 pounds. It's the hens that have a small single comb with small wattles, while the cocks have a large single comb with large oval wattles. Svart honas can be used for meat. That's if you don't care about eating it black. The most interesting part of this rare chicken breed is that they're highly intelligent and they do learn quickly. Many people believe that the breed came from Indonesia and was imported to Mozambique and then to Sweden in the 1800s. And this is a chicken breed that only found its way to the United States in 2012. Despite all of this, it's actually very difficult to find any quality strains of this chicken breed. Number 3. Holland Holland is the rarest chicken breed in the United States. These chickens were developed as the demand would increase for white eggs over brown, the Holland chicken breed comes in two varieties, being barred and white, although the white variety may now be extinct. The Holland is a dual-purpose chicken breed that's recognized as one of the only American-classed breeds that can lay white eggs. It lays between 200 and 240 medium to large eggs per year, and they have a single comb with well-defined points, and their face, wattles, and earlobes are bright reddish in color. Not only are they good layers, but the Holland chicken also makes good broody mothers. However, the breed has slow growth and maturity, but can actually fill out into large-sized chickens when fully grown. Mature males will weigh anywhere between 3.8 kilograms, and females can weigh up to 2.9. The Hollands are easily adaptable chicken breeds, as they do have a good reputation as being suited for the farm. However, they are free rangers, and they quickly adapt to smaller enclosures and can tolerate most climates. Their combs are prone to frost, which implies that they should be provided adequate shelter and warmth. Number 2. The Sultan You may already know that a Sultan is a hereditary ruler in various Muslim states. 
This particular sultan, however, is a breed of chicken that originated in Turkey in the late 19th century and is primarily kept in gardens for ornamental purposes. Some experts would speculate that the breed was created by crossing the Seabright and the Yokohama. This chicken breed is known for its black and white feathers and is considered to be good meat. The Sultan chicken breed got its name from its distinctive crests that look like the turbans that are worn by Ottoman sultans. Its beauty and uniqueness soon made the chicken a popular pet, and it would then be exported to many countries in Europe and North America. It features a V-shaped comb that often hides under a full crest of feathers and voluminous plumage, making it quite a striking sight. You'll also notice its five toes, which is a rare feature in most chicken breeds. Sultans are also marked by their gentle nature and relatively small size. They usually reach only four to five pounds, the size of the bantams of other chicken breeds. They do well in small spaces and are known to be good mothers, although they're not the best layers of eggs. Although they are a heat-tolerant breed, they're easily prone to respiratory issues, and this is due to their large crest blocking their airway. Also, the plumage of the sultan is so thick that it may find it difficult to regulate its body temperature in warm weather. Number 1. Ermanette The Ermanette chicken breed is a very unique breed, both historically and in terms of genetic phenomenon. In fact, the Ermanette is the only chicken breed whose plumage color is based on a co-dominant factor. The Ermanette breed can be traced back to the 1870s in the United States when a group of fowl was brought to its shores. These fowl held from the West Indies and had beautiful coloration, which was mostly white with some touches of black on their feathers. These West Indy birds looked a bit like the leghorn, especially in size and shape. However, their combs are much smaller, about one-third the size of the usual leghorn comb. The Brahma breeder named John H. Sutliff decided to cross the West Indies bird with a larger variety like the Earl Derby Game, the Light Brahma, and the White Leghorn until he finally arrived at a unique breed that he named the Ermanette. The Ermanettes look like a variety of Brahma and have beautiful plumage with yellow legs and small combs. They're considered the healthiest, largest, and fastest growing chicken breed in the world. The hens will be good egg layers, laying about 180 plus large light brown eggs per year. They're also wintry hardy and good foragers. Although the Ermanette chicken breed was considered extinct in the late 1980s, a man by the name of Ron Nelson came across a flock in Wisconsin in the 1990s and obtained hatching eggs to improve the breed. Which of these chicken breeds did you find the most fascinating? Be sure to let us know all about it in the comments section down below.